Are you ready? Um, it's, li- it's nice to have a few, a bit of an off-the-wall comedian sometimes, isn't it? Just to take you into craziness, because you're going to escapism, because all this tension at the moment, it's nice to just relax here and imagine that the world is uh, different to what it is out there, huh? The perfect world, I would be slim and tall. Justin Bieber would never have been born. And all the troubles would be far away. But uh, let me introduce this new act. Seriously, he's one of my favorite comedians. I love watching this guy. He's just crazy. Uh, but I love his off-the-wall sense of humor. Um, he uh, used to work in the projects. He works for Aramco, but on the projects. Uh, he was uh, working on Kaust. Now he's working in Riyadh. And it's a great honor uh, and a privilege to be introducing you to the incredible talents of Mr. Hussain Muhammad. You know there ain't no rest for the Hi guys, how y'all doing tonight? Guys having fun? Yeah. Can't hear you. Yeah. Louder. Yeah. Ow, my ears. <laughs> yeah, uh, I used to be out in Jeddah. Jeddah was nice. Although, instead of underwear, you had to wear swimming shorts. <laughs> but it was awesome. You know, we had little social gatherings, parties, events. Boat trips, and then I moved to Riyadh. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Riyadh, it's just that they have so many roads, and they all sound the same, I had to get a GPS. <laughs> and the GPS came with this fancy English accent. Like, right, drive right on ahead 400 meters. <laughs> Al Faisalia Tower should be on your right. If you have yet to reach your destination, then you are completely lost, and I have no bloody idea where you are. And the Arabic language, yeah. the setting came with the guy from NBC Action. <laughs> so I hacked it, I installed local dialect. <laughs> the first option came with that guy, the typical one we all know. I'm Shkaddam, 800 meter. Awal la faymin, tiyasar. I'm Shkaddam, meter, access share. <laughs> then the Jiddawi dialect. That's my word. I'm going to go to 400 meters. I'm going to go to the first one. I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to go And there's the Hasawi mode. It's my favorite. It's my Yabba, I'm Shisida, Khamsmit Mater. Warning Yabba, battery mali low. No problem. Hasawi mode, just recharge it with Fusfus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got my friend at work, Timothy, came up to me the other, the other day. He's like, hey, buddy, you know you Saudis eat the most delicious food? I'm like, really? you damn right. Just the other day, I had myself some roasted chicken and rice bakari. <laughs> I also had the yellow rice with the greasy meat on top, chili sauce on the side, served with a Pepsi. Started with a K or something. Oh, Kepsa! <laughs> have you tried the healthy version? <laughs> yep. Yellow rice, greasy meat on top, chili sauce on the side, served with a diet Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. You know, but back home in the States, we sometimes hunt deer. I mean, what do you guys hunt? Uh, bub. <laughs> yeah, some people get it. Some don't. A bub is a giant lizard about this long, yay high. <laughs> Lives in the desert. 
And the reason some men like to eat this is because, um, how can I put this bluntly? Um, well, after dinner, it makes a man feel really good about himself. I just had dub for dinner. I feel 10 years younger. It's a four-legged, scaly, snuffy pill. So we take him out to the desert with my friend Nasser and his dad, Abu Nasser, and his uncle, Busadim. And we got a garden hose. We hooked it up to a car exhaust. Found the love hole, stuck it inside, flushed it out. And this is the point where we start have to run after it. But we're fat and lazy, so we drove after it. <laughs> there are only two cars that can catch this thing. Land cruisers and Nissan pickups. That's why they're so popular. Yeah. So anyway, we're, run, we're chasing after it. And they hand, uh, Abu Nasser hands me a net. Like, okay, when we pass by it, you throw the net. So I'm sticking myself out the window, and I'm so excited. I threw the net, and I missed. Look, ya akhi, city people, ya akhi, hadran, ya akhi. Would you give me the rope? i show you how it's done, huh? That's right. You guys go, yee-haw! And you go, Hah. He grabs it by the tail, reels it in. I got it, I got it, I got it, Nasser. Call the women, tell them they're making kapsa tonight. <laughs> and that phrase has an explicit meaning. <laughs> uh, went, went back to work the next day, found my friend a bit depressed. I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? Ever since January, you've been down. Like, I got an M. It means I'm mediocre. <laughs> no, man, it just means they don't have enough S to go around, so M means bashi <laughs> halak. Yeah. It's a conspiracy. They want to give everyone M's. Employee by employee, department by department. Zanga, zanga. <laughs> <laughs> and the horror starts with the SAP PMP page. I mean, the SAP page. I find the name very fitting. SAP saps the life out of you. Yeah, I think it's a great application for getting all the wrong things done right. Like screwing up your appraisal, then calculating your remaining leave days, and then sends the request to someone's already on vacation. <laughs> but don't worry, it's gonna get smarter. In fact, it's gonna get so smart, it's gonna calculate your whole careers for you. No need to work hard anymore, system knows what you're doing. I inadvertently discovered this when my supervisor wasn't feeling well. So I drove him down to the site clinic. And the guy there, even though he looked like Kermit the Frog for some reason, but I say, it's like, mm, all right, what seems to be the problem here? All right, let me just check your, if you have a headache, right? Let me just check your file here in the SEP system, right? Oh boy. It says here you had a stress related stroke and you're in a coma. You don't look like you're in a coma. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. I accidentally opened your file for next year. <laughs> well, we, sometimes you ever ask yourself what would be, what, what, wouldn't be cool if we had a supervisor like Oprah <laughs> walk into the office alright everybody good morning we have a meeting <laughs> bring your notes alright let's talk about your problem what's your problem here I got an M <laughs> I know it's hard but as a consolation, everyone look under your chairs. It's the new company organizer. You go home with one, you go home with one, you go home with one, everybody goes home with one. Yeah. Uh, enough of work. Usually after work, I go home, turn on the TV, and uh, turn on the news, and Qaddafi was giving a speech. And the only thing that could go through my head is where the hell does he get his clothes? <laughs> Change the channel. Tonight on Discovery Science, are aliens living among us? A man in Colorado says they are. Great. 
Here we go again. Why does everything cool happen in America? <laughs> we never hear about aliens in China or Russia. Why don't aliens ever come here? I gave it some thought. Must be our welcome. See, when aliens land in America, they're greeted either by the military or drunk teenagers in the middle of the desert. If aliens landed here, what kind of welcome would they get? Well, let's see. Greetings, Earthlings. Oh, sir. Spaceship washing, sir. Gasa saruk. In America, this is an extraterrestrial alien life form. We are taking him to a top secret lab for research. In Saudi Arabia. Oh, this is strange enough. I take jail. No iqama, no lasers, no paper. Okay. Oh, sir. You know balot? My own balot? Okay, go. Continue. Imagine taking E.T. for a drive through Dammam. <laughs> All the closed roads, the holes, the bumps, 1,715 shopping malls that have nothing. <laughs> so E.T., what do you think? Does E.T. want to phone home? No. E.T., go home. <laughs> now! <laughs> so the same with monsters. King Kong and Godzilla. Let's take Godzilla, for example. Godzilla started out in Japan causing havoc through the seats of Tokyo, and the Japanese were all like, oh, Start running, and they send a giant robot to fight it, and then there's one Japanese guy with a camera, always. Then Godzilla went to the States. Causing havoc through New York, everyone's running, screaming, except Lady Gaga, she's pissed. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! How dare you be more freaky than me? <laughs> White House statement. We have reason to believe that this monster is a senior member of Al-Qaeda. Therefore, it must bomb Iran. <laughs> Dr. Phil tries to talk to it. Now, I understand that you're angry. <laughs> but breaking buildings and killing people ain't going to solve your problems. You can read more about it in my new book, How to Be a Happy Lizard. <laughs> now, picture Godzilla walking down the streets of Rialf. Be walking down King Fahad Road first, and some guys will be like, Bleh. You see what I see? Which they see? Then they'll start walking down King Abdullah Road. People will be pissed there too. Hey, you, you Hayawan, move! You're blocking the road! So it is Ahmed! Walk, He'll walk by Kingdom Tower. Security won't let him in. They're like, hey, 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 yo, family, family on there. <laughs> gets so pissed, tries to take a bite out of the building. His head gets stuck in the arch thingy. <laughs> Macaui person living in reality, he'll see that. He's like, yeah, boy, ah. <laughs> What's this? You think you're a big and strong beneath the building? With your face, you're a big and strong. And then we've got some people. Bismillah, mashallah, tabarakallah, Allahu Akbar. You will agree with me when I say this, yeah, Abu Salim. That one, Khuk, is the biggest dub I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Nasr, Nasr, listen to me when I book. Bring the pickup. I tell the women they're making a lot of cups here tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Bahrani. Love you guys. Mr. Hussein Muhammad, give it up! Thank you very much indeed! Grab the mic. <laughs> give it on, sit down, sit down, sit down. Fantastic. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Hussein, for that uh, crazy Pleasure humor. Is Isn't Thank he you. off the wall, huh? <laughs> Listen, Hussein, has there ever been a time in your life, go back, uh, what, that you were normal? Yeah. I think on one or two occasions. Yeah. One or two occasions, huh? Yeah, yeah. One was I was born, that was one. <laughs> Now, you're working in uh, Riyadh now? Uh, on, yes, on Riyadh. 
Okay. In Riyadh, near Riyadh. In Riyadh, right? And you've moved over from Jeddah. Have you noticed much difference between Jeddah and Riyadh? Well, yeah. I mean, Riyadh, everything closes around 12, which is normal for us. But in Jeddah, everywhere closes around 3 in the morning. So it was a culture shock for me. And um, everything's closed except for pharmacies. And uh, <laughs> this is a true story, actually. And I asked my friend, so what do you guys do for fun around here? Like, well, we drive around, we eat, and then, you know, then we try to hit on girls. I'm like, does that work? He's like, no. Like, what weird, else you do? Weird. <laughs> in a town where everyone just drives around, eat, and not get any chicks. Are you missing al -Baik? Yes. Yeah. You, you, as, 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 does anyone, is anyone else addicted to al -Baik? Why can't we get it here? We want to start a movement, a revolution to get al -Baik into the eastern province, right? <laughs> we have to, what, 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 what? The R word is prohibited. Prohibited? <laughs> The R word is prohibited. Oh, revolution. Oh, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. It'll never work here in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I know. People, they never seem to get, on, get anywhere on time, no, you know? they'll say, uh, okay, okay. You, you, you like go to the thing, protest. Like this thing everyone's setting up, like by the time they, you know, everyone decides to get yeah. together, it'll be like a month later or yeah, two yeah. months later, you know? That's yeah. why it never works here, you know? Yalla, you go to the <laughs> protest. I will come. Inshallah, Bukra. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and then after he's gone, he's like, okay. Get me some Pakistanis. I need to go to a protest. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to work here, guys. So hopefully yeah, sure. it's all going to be cool. But listen, it's always a pleasure to have you on the pleasure show. Pleasure is mine. I love doing uh, Bahran. You guys are the best audience ever. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I've performed in all the major cities. And by far, you guys are the best. And I love you all. And uh, I hear that... Wait. I, I hear that you have some family members in the audience. Oh, yeah, yeah, your, yeah. Your mom is here. Oh, my mom sister. and my sister is right there. And your mom is having a special celebration today? Oh, yes. On the 12th, uh, unfortunately, I won't be here. So uh, it's going to be my mom's birthday. And I'd just like to sing happy birthday for her right now. Happy birthday! Guys, help me out. <laughs> thank you. All right, okay, now, thank you very much indeed. I'm Thanks sending it. You guys help me with that? All right, like, one, two, three. Oh, my God. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Yayoma. Happy birthday to you. Thank you.